well, guess what? So, I don't know if you didn't know, but I have a GoPro. Uh, it's a purchase I made back in March, and it's been a really good thing. But you're on the camera today of my phone. And the reason for that is that, um, well, you see, I cannot get my GoPro to sync with my phone. I've downloaded all the updates, retried it, changed the Wi-Fi settings, etc., etc. So, what am I doing? Dealing with it. But, for things like the Quail Butts video that, A, will probably take more than 10 minutes and I don't have the editor to splice things if they go over 11 minutes and 41 seconds in 1080p super wide linear. So, <sighs> what we're doing instead is recording it on the phone. And I'm sorry, I know that the quality is less and um, hopefully you won't mind that too much. And I'm going to pause you because now that... The other thing is, I can frame it up ahead of time, but this lens zooms for video as opposed to camera. So I'm going to pause you. Okay, that's the other thing that GoPro doesn't have, is any sort of pause. I do complete straight runs in less than 10 minutes, and that is every video you've ever seen of me. So, I don't know. Do we want to see if I can be in this a bit more? Probably. Okay. So, everyone's already a bit wound up because I have done this to two of the birds twice already and then discovered that I was not succeeding at getting in frame. So this is Sweet Bunny. Sweet Bunny bird, huh, baby? I think it's starting to rain. Baby, I think it's starting to rain. So what we're going to do today is look at quail butts. You've seen the title. You knew this. Also, I've been alluding to this for a few days. Uh, so, this is Bunny. Hi, honey bunny. You're going to struggle me, huh? And now that I have a front-facing screen, I should be able to stay in frame and not be below the frame every time. So, that is Bunny's cloaca. Bunny, like all quail, has a springboard in their feet. And so, we'll have about 10 seconds per each look until Bunny gets their feet onto me. So you see when one foot's on me, they have a springboard loaded. And there we go. So that's Bunny's cloaca. And I think, but we're going to check today, the Bunny and Cricket are the ones laying, huh, baby? So we'll start with Bunny and Cricket. I'm um, sorry, Cricket. Oh, that was the GoPro turning off. I like, did you see me panic? I was like, oh my god, I just lost that too. <laughs> Come here. I know. It wasn't pleasant the first time. Woo, gotcha. Come here, honey bunny. All right, so this is Cricket. I'm going to give Cricket a moment to calm down a little bit. Cricket is clearly not happy to be out here. What's the thing? You know, quail have a lot of upsides, but um, cuddlers, they are not. Not by nature. Um, I don't know how much attention you have to give a quail for it to be a lap quail, like I see some people online have. But it's a lot more time than I have that attention is needed. So this is Cricket, who I also believe has been laying and laying for quite a while. So let me see if I can, ouch, ouch, honey, ouch. Ugh, bird. And this is not easy to do. So, that's Cricket's cloaca. Huh. Yeah, and you've been laying for a couple weeks. And you're boinking. Good boink. I'm proud of you. Are you pecking me too? Okay. I won't hold it against you. I won't hold it against you. You ready to go back in? You look at your butt. Doot, 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 doot. All right, I'll put you back in. Now we're going to do the unthinkable, aren't we, Henny Penny? We're going to pick up Henny Penny and see how that goes. Come here, honey. Oh, ho, ho. Got 
at you right away. So Henny Penny is a bird that um, has laid two eggs in her life and is prone to high stress and wishes that she was not a bird and just cowers in the corner all the time. She's also older than all the rest. You laid two eggs when you were young and then hid in the dark corner as much as you possibly could. Her tail is turned down all the time, and I don't know why. So you're going to be a little bit more difficult to, to manage here. This is, this is a bird that is prone to stress. So I'm going to, yep, there we go. Let's see. Where is your cloaca? It's in there. There we go. That's not stretched much. Yeah. You have some redness there, honey. So that that is a two egg cloaca as far as I can tell. There's also not much coloration. So something I've learned from observation of other people's birds online is that the skin around the the cloaca there no henny penny the skin around there turns very very dark after several eggs because that ink is being exuded from that tissue the ink that is on oh good poop um the ink that is on the egg those like dark splotches that we have comes out of your skins and then we end up with the cloaca tube being a very very dark color when some someone's been laying for a while especially if they have darker splotchy eggs all right henny penny you did really good so orange it's your turn come here oh orange is also a very feisty bird and has no reason to be You gonna calm down? The kitten really wants to be part of this task. Can you hear the kitty baby? Because the birds are out. Yeah, the birds are out. Hi, Orange. You wanna talk to the camera? You're gonna try and fly at the camera. Okay. Okay, but come on. There you go. Alright, so there's a quail. Here's a butt. So is orange laying? We may have to go back after this later. So a very wide cloaca is assumed to be female. <sighs> Who's left? Just a couple of roosters. So there's, there's a quail butt. So I'm going to push the spot that I think you're supposed to push. If you were going to get foam, and that's what we should see with a rooster. And if we don't see it with rooster dooster, then we'll see it with roosty dip roo, because roosty roo is more mature. So rooster dooster. Oh, I know, you're going to fly away. Ugh. Rooster dooster, you heard your name and immediately, rooster is a lot. You are a lot. Little jerk. Hang on, I'm gonna put you on pause so it's not. Well, maybe you'll like watching me run around like a lunatic. Where are you? You're just gonna be back and forth, aren't you? Go on, go on, go on. Dooster. So yeah, the hens are a lot more 
came. <sighs> Alright, we're going to make quick work of this, I think. I hope so. You little bird. Okay. I don't think he has a foam patch yet. So, the cloaca is really narrow, and there's supposed to be a place either above or below that you can push and foam comes out. So we're going to try it. He might not be mature yet. Yeah. We'll get deuce, we'll get roosty roo. How's that sound? Let me go get roosty roo. You better not do this to me again, bud. I'm going to put you in. All right. Holy cannoli. All right, watch them for me. Here's Roosty Roo! Similarly feisty. The roosters, in my case at least, are really, really difficult. You're an attractive bird. See? Alright, so. Roosty, just like the other ones, does not wish to be held, but he does have maturity because he unlike the others is where is it is it above is it below huh nothing's coming out bud it's supposed to you're supposed to have foam i don't know why you don't have foam bud you're old you should totally have foam. You're like a quarter of the way through your life already, bud. <sighs> so, we don't get to see fully a rooster butt, I don't think. Let me pause and see if we can get Ringy Dingy to do it, because you never know. Maybe Ringy, even though he's a wackadoo, will be. Hold on. Okay, this is Ringy Dingy. Very strange, small underweight, quickly molting bird, but who knows? Maybe he has foam. Do you have foam, Ringy Dingy? Let's find out. So, there's Ringy Dingy's head, and here's a quail butt. Yeah, yeah. I do not see any foam coming out. So either, either I'm doing this wrong, huh, Rangy? Either, whoop, there he goes. I'm doing this wrong, or my quail moisture is having problems. Well, he's easier to catch. As many other problems as he has, he's definitely... Easier to catch. All right, you bud. So, yeah, this is this is a genetically strange bird. Nice bird, though. Huh. Maybe I will give you a trial. You're more tame. That does help. I like the rare color of 
roosty roo and rooster dooster. But um not as much of a fan of the behavioral aspect of it. The rooster's still cowering in the corner there. Ringy, you're actually a half decent little guy. We'll put you back. me to the point of whether or not it'll be harder having given them little nicknames because the roosters are going for meat eventually the ones that don't make the cut are going for meat I am hoping to see fertile legs but since I'm not seeing any foam coming out of the roosters that's uh concerning let's go say hi to the kitten My tea was right there. Hi, baby. Hi, kitty. Yeah. I'm sorry I did bird stuff without you. It was very upsetting, wasn't it? Sorry. You're on the door. You're being a good kitty on the door. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> yeah, good baby. Yeah, so oops is on the door. The roosters are apparently not producing foam, so I'm not sure that they're able to fertilize eggs or not. <sighs> it would be interesting to see if I can eventually see fertile eggs, but if I have roosters that aren't becoming mature, that would make it difficult. Hey, Randall. He was down there sniffing and got the door to open. Huh. Yep. What's he doing? Yeah. Alright. Well, this is more of a you know, my old version of length of video. Are you gonna jump? You gonna, okay. All right, so we have a long enough video. I think, I know everyone's gotten used to me just having little 10 minute ones and it's been a good at learning exercise for me and you've also gotten used to the quality of my video. Hi baby. Being a lot higher and so, sorry about that. And uh, we'll see you know, how I continue to evolve over time. Still can't figure a lot of the things out of about owning the camera and straight shot upload really is my gig. It's been my gig for six or seven years now, but I'm glad everyone is here. So as I learn and evolve, you can uh, come along for the journey with me. And I, I hope you enjoyed the quail butts. <laughs> All right. If if you got the whole way through, obviously you like quail and kittens, so please do um, hit the subscribe button down there, hit the like, and if you want to hit a bell, then you'll know the next time I put something up, and it won't be this long. That's pretty long. I'm seeing a little number here. You're probably seeing it here of 18 minutes and something. Just hit 19. There we go. Well... I hope you enjoyed. Please do take care and thanks so much for visiting the cliffside. This has been Quail, Kitties, and Permaculture. <laughs> take care. Bye.